Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we just got here to Cancun, Mexico from Puerto Vallarta. Um, we're excited to kind of show you where we're at. Um, so if you don't know anything about Cancun, it's probably the most, um, in terms of like a brand name, it's probably the biggest tourist spot in Mexico. Um, lots of people come down here um, from America, from Canada every single year uh, to travel. Um, you know, where there's all these hotels, all these resorts, um, they're kind of known for the all-inclusive resort. And so you might wonder, hey, what does that actually mean? Um, so all-inclusive basically means that you're gonna pay kind of one sum of money uh, up front um, you know, per night uh, for your room. Um, that's gonna come with all food and drinks included. Um, it's gonna include other amenities uh, at your hotel, such as the pool, such as um, different activities and shows they might have going on at your hotel. Um, so it's all kind of included in that package. Um, and so it, you kind of get a, a big bang for your buck. Um, that's kind of what it's known for. If people come down here, they spend some money on their hotel and the all-inclusive, they kind of just hang out at the resort um, for most of their trip. So I think for us, this is a lot different than the trip that we did to Puerto Vallarta, where we spent a lot of time going to local restaurants, uh, more of the local scene in terms of uh, going out and bars and stuff like that. Um, this is gonna be a lot more. We're gonna post up here. Um, we're gonna do a couple day trips. Um, but for the most part, we're just gonna hang here at the hotel. Um, and I think that's different than Puerto Vallarta because we spent very little time at the Airbnb. It was just kind of the place where we slept and hung out. Um, we really kind of uh, adventured outwards from there. Um, so I'm excited to kind of show you guys the next few days here. Um, so it is Sunday, and so we are here in Cancun. Um, and we're gonna spend now until Thursday here, and then leave on Friday. Um, so overall, the trip will be kind of four days in Puerto Vallarta and five days in Cancun. We really are gonna be kind of two different trips, right? I mean, Puerto Vallarta was very much the, you know, go to your local, um, you know, Mexican restaurants and have tacos, all the great food that they have. Um, whereas this is gonna be a lot more of the kind of stereotypical tourist experience in Mexico. Um, we're gonna hope to venture out to a few different places and show you guys that as well. Okay guys, so I'll kind of show you guys around the room and kind of what that consists of. Um, so as soon as you walk in, this door, you kind of are right next to the bathroom, as you'll see here, um, which is pretty simple. And as you kind of turn around, you will see that you have a bathtub, you have kind of your other kind of shower area and your sinks and stuff like that. You have your bed, TV, a little bit of a couch and hangout area over here that obviously takes you over to the balcony where we were just at. Um, so this hotel is called the Ryu Palace Peninsula. Um, so there are quite a few, I think I just got stuck in the shadows there, sorry. Um, I think that there are quite a few um, Ryu hotels. Um, and so, so far um, it's been a good experience. Um, we've kind of liked what we've seen out of uh, Ryu Palace Peninsula. Um, so far we recommend it. Um, but we'll keep uh, exploring and showing you guys what they have to offer here at the All Inclusive uh, as we explore it. Of all the parts of the hotel that we spent time at, during our five days in Cancun at the Rio Peninsula. We probably spent our most time by the pool. We had awesome servers who, of course, we gave good tips to and were able to get some really delicious drinks and some good snacks when we needed it as well. There were maybe four or five different kind of pools and we usually hung out by this main one here. And it wasn't ever really too crowded, which was nice as well. All the service servers and hotel staff did use face masks and other COVID protocols to make sure they were looking out for our safety and everyone else's as well. And guests wore masks around the hotel when they weren't, you know, sitting outside or something like that as well. So there's kind of a swim up bar. We hung out there a little bit. And the nice thing about the Ryu Peninsula is that there are other Ryu hotels nearby that you can actually connect if you walk on the beach and try to get to them. And they might just have different you know, restaurants or different facilities you could check out if you wanna venture out from your resort for the day. We never did that, but we did enjoy a nice long walk on this beautiful beach. The food was really good. Our two favorite restaurants were Crystal and the Steakhouse. Crystal's kind of this fusion restaurant. I got a mash mushroom ragu and also kind of this crab type dinner that I really enjoyed. The rest, all the restaurants overall uh, were pretty good. And I think there was Italian, Mexican, Crystal, which is this one, the steakhouse, a Japanese steakhouse, 
and maybe one other one that I'm missing. And obviously in the morning you had buffet style breakfast as well. We definitely enjoyed our time at the Ryu Palace Peninsula and we would recommend it to anyone looking for a good time in Cancun. And next I'm really excited to show you guys one of the day trips we took while we were in the Cancun area. We went to Chichen Itza, which is a Mayan pyramid historical site, and I will see you there.